hands of lightning is for heads up hockey, for being able to feel that puck on your stick um, and looking at a screen and, if, and, uh, and seeing whatever flashes up on that screen, you'll be able to make a quick split se second decision on what you see on that screen. And uh, that's a great tool because no one wants to be skating around with their head down too much because someone's gonna run you over. The Hands of Lightning is a, great, is, is a great tool to work on those fine motor skills of depth perception, um, uh, peripheral vision, looking where it is, so you know what's in front of you. So if you're in a game of hockey and you're going down the ice, the last thing you want to do is be looking down that puck and you get a big 250 pound defenseman salivating because he sees you looking down, he's going to come and crunch you. So you want to train with your head up and that's what Hands of Lightning does. We have five sensors. We've got a middle sensor and we've got uh, two more sensors on either side. The middle sensor is, is, is for your stick handling back and forth, repetitions of how many times you're actually stick handling back and forth. The first sensor that you're going to hit on the right hand side is going to be a stick handling sensor. So on the screen you're going to see a guy that's either going to try to poke check you or he's going to try to hit you. The object is, is when the, when the player on the screen is trying to poke check you, you want to stick handle away as quick as you can and come back to the middle zone. Simulating a situation where someone's trying to poke check me, oh I'm getting away from it and I'm coming back keeping your eyes up. The second part of the sensor, a deeper sensor on the right hand side is you're looking up and all of a sudden someone's trying to body check me. He's trying to throw a shoulder into me. Well, you're simulating, all right, I'm gonna take the check, I'm gonna pass it to my buddy away from the body check, take the check and come back. So you pass the puck to, away to the far sensor, it comes off of a, a passing band that passes back to you, you stick handle back in the middle again and continue. And there's a bunch of variations that you can do. Make sure you keep that head up. Feel that puck on your stick. That's it, nice, good. Excellent. Oh boy, looking good. Good, excellent. Hands of Lightning is like every other piece of equipment. It can be modified to a beginner and all the way to an NHL lead. Uh, player. If someone is, is going and say they have a, a really tough time on their backhand and they're having a tough time stick handling to the backhand, well you can look and you can actually monitor and see who's having a really tough time uh, which side because on our screens it actually gives you the, the reaction time of, of your pass or the reaction time of your stick handling. So if you go back and forth and you can see every single time I'm going to my backhand it's like a second or half a second longer than it is going to my forehand. All right, well let's focus on something. Your backhand obviously is your weak side, which it is with the majority of people. Then what you can do is you can design a program or make a program up where maybe they're going two times to their forehand, but they're going eight times to their backhand. So they keep going back and you start focusing on the weaknesses as opposed to the strengths. It's simulating a game situation that you have to recognize what you have to do, but you're always keeping your eyes up.